Hey guys, I'm Holly Randall and I'm out on set today shooting Casey Calvert. So our first look, we thought it'd be really fun to do something inspired by the Queen's Gambit, which is why you see this fabulous chessboard. Also, we have some liquor and some pills thrown in for good measure. So we're gonna do some really cool shots of Casey sitting here. We're gonna do some kind of like POV type shots where you feel like you're playing her. And then of course, after we get these intro shots, then um, the other things will happen that generally happen on my sets. But I'm really excited for this one. I think Casey has the perfect look and I'm just thrilled about uh, this whole concept. Okay, okay, ready? Oh, that looks incredible. I have been transformed. <laughs> yeah, I love the lip color. Yeah. Yeah. Really, what are your tips on how to please a woman? Buy her lots of shit. Nice. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite penis size? Um, I like micro penises. Me too. Oh my god, I had a micro penis fetish for like literally weeks. Let's like, flick them. Let's talk about that later. What is your favorite penis size and why? Uh, I really, really, really do not care at all about penis size. I really don't. It can be this big or this big. I really don't care. It is so much more important to me, the person who the penis is attached to. That's what I care about. I don't care about penis size. So what would your advice be um, to the people out there who would like to please a woman better? So if you would like to please a woman better, the thing that you need to do is ask her what she likes. I bet she can tell you. Then you do that thing. These days I direct and I perform. And obviously I was a performer first and only a performer and directing is the, the newer thing. And uh, the main difference is that when you're directing, you're, you tend to have more creative control. You, it's a, uh, you, you know, you come up with the ideas. You're the one who are telling the people what to do, but then also there's a lot of pressure because you have to have good ideas and you have to execute them rather than just being the person who, who does the things. We're on the second set of the day and Casey, who looks like a hundred bucks. <gasps> it's fine. It's just plain money. We found it under here. It's I thought it was real. For the day. Yeah, that's all I'm giving her. That's it. There's, 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 <laughs> there we go. I'm but, a different kind of maid now. But what I'm about to give you is my tips and tricks on photography <laughs> lighting. <laughs> So what we are doing here is um, we're shooting in this darker space. I really, really love the colors here. So I wanted to keep it a little bit moodier and make sure that we controlled the light quite a bit. So starting off with, we wanted to be able to bring in some backlight to separate her from the background. 
These windows are in a really handy place to be able to bring some light into the background. And one of the problems that we noticed kind of right away is that even though this window was lighting up beautifully and casting a lovely light onto Casey, this one was going really, really dark because there's all kinds of vegetation back there that's not being hit by the sun. So this was a black hole. So essentially what we did was we brought in a second light and just blasted it into this window just to light this window up so we didn't have a dead black window behind us. I'm always like looking for these kind of like dead holes that I want to fill with light. But in terms of what we wanted to do for Casey, we wanted to really kind of keep the light wrapped around her. We didn't want to spread it too much. We really wanted this color here to pop. And for my last shoot, I used all continuous lights because I really like the look of that. But for this, I'm using a strobe just in the front to kind of really pop that contrast and color in. So what we are using is this beauty dish. We actually swung it out of the way so that we could light myself with that light so you can actually see me. But this beauty dish is what we're using to light the front of her. See, we shall swing it around like so. And what we have going on in the beauty dish to keep the um, drama that we wanted is we have a grid. You can see right here, this is similar to what the other lights that we used. We also have an ND filter on this because we couldn't get the light low enough in order to balance out with the background continuous light. So we had to throw a neutral density gel and that just cuts down the light without creating any color shift so that we had less light coming out of here so we could balance it with the backlights, which are continuous lights. Because by nature, continuous lights are much less powerful than strobe lights, which just give you one quick blast of light. It's looking pretty good. Casey's looking amazing. I'm very excited to shoot this. We're gonna get started. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> so tell us about uh, this second look that you're doing here. Uh, this is a uh, French made variation. Um, we're not doing the normal black and white red lip French maid. We're doing the 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 pinks and and blushes and nudes French maid. And how do you feel about like what of the two looks? Which one was your favorite look and why? Oh, I don't know if I have a favorite. Um, the first one we did today was so fun and so stylized um and it was just really fun to play dress up and now i feel a little more casual and a little more natural i feel like i'm not afraid to mess up my lipstick as much as i was for the first set but i don't i don't have a favorite they're both very fun what do you shoot mostly these days like now with you know the rise only fans and i know you get a lot of custom requests like what is the most frequent thing that you shoot these days um, to be very broad, because it's really hard to be specific, these days mostly I'm shooting one of two things. I'm either shooting solo content, whether that solo content is actual unpaid content or a custom video, but something solo for my OnlyFans, or it is directing big features for Erica Lust. Talk about the rain orgy, is that my question? Yeah, uh, your <laughs> okay. question is talk about the rain orgy. Uh, so the last film I shot for Erica Lust, it's for her site called X Confessions, uh, was a, a, a rain orgy, an orgy in the rain. I had eight people, five girls, three guys, and I made them all have sex with each other in the middle of the night under rain towers. We rented mainstream professional rain towers and a water truck, and we made it rain in a parking lot downtown. And eight people had sex on top of cars in the rain. It was, I had a lot of fun. They also all had a lot of fun, but I especially, like it was the most fun I've ever had shooting because I also, I'm not just directing when I direct, I also shoot camera. And it was, 
incredibly fun standing in the rain with a big old raincoat on my camera. I can barely see what I'm doing. I can barely focus. So much fun. I, I can't wait to see the final movie. We have not edited it yet. Holly's on set now. We're lighting. Lighting's happening. Testing is happening. I feel like any moment now I'm gonna hear my name and be like, can you come stand in here? Because right now Holly's taking pictures of the table. We are wrapped for the day and Casey, you were amazing. Thank you, Such thank you. Pleasure. This was so much fun. Thank you also for having me as your bombshell of the month. I'm very honored. I haven't been an of the month in a very long time. Oh, wow. And it feels really nice to know that I'm not that you are not you are in fact <laughs> quite flawless the, what i really love about doing the bombshell of the month is i literally get to just pick i honestly just pick people that i like yes, and i shoot this them this is your website it's you my get website i can just do whatever i want i don't look at data <laughs> i don't look at numbers not that you don't have good numbers or data i have fine but numbers, it's whatever, really about whatever. like shooting people that i really love to work with who i think are beautiful and photograph really well well this is very very fun it was really nice to I used to do this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. And it's been so long. Yeah. It's really nice to get like pan all the attention. Yeah. Really nice. It was all about you today. All about me. I know. It never is all about me anymore. Yeah. Well, all it should be. Today. 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 Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And